There's Jeff Vertes making good decisions, and this time he picks up Ace Queen. Big hand. They're suited Ace Queen of Spades. Uh, 325. Uh, 325,000 to bet. Josh behind him with an Ace Three. Goes out. A ways goes away. And now the New Yorker will. I'm walking here, Fiella, with a King Queen. And he's in position, he's on the button, he's got the King Queen. He's called it an Adam. Gonna let that one go. So two way action. Well, actually, I forgot about the teacher for a second. Ken Aldridge. He's getting the price to call, he feels like, so he's going to make a call. We're going to have three-way action here. Yeah, he's got a pair of deuces. Here we go. Oh, the flop is ace, queen, queen. Oh, wow. The Canadian has flopped a full house. Will the thrill has flopped three queens. Check. The teacher checks. Oh, and Jeff moaning first and checks again. He can't believe that Will the Thrill is going to bet with his three queens. He is coming out to bet 300,000. Ken going away. Oh, look, he's shaking his head, Vince. Call. Oh, the reluctant call. Give him a Screen Actors Guild card. This guy is really playing it up, but notice Will the Thrill staring him down intently there while he's shaking his head and then putting his chips in the pot. Well, Jeff just dug the hole, putting the branches and the twigs over it, waiting for the sucker to fall in, and it is Will. Here comes the turn card. Six of hearts on the turn. Action's on Jeff. Remember, he raised it pre-flop. And then checked and shook his head miserably as he called on the flop. Gonna try to trap again. Will with three of a kind. Nice slow down there. He suspects something perhaps. An incredible check by Will the Thrill right there. Deuce of spade on the river. Oh, and look at this. Jeff Vertez can hardly breathe. The McDonald's man looks like he's choking on his own french fry. Now that's the classic tell here, Vince. When a guy acts weak, he's usually strong. When he acts strong, he's weak. In this case, he's acting weak, and in fact, he's very strong. Will Will the Thrill pick up on it? Well, he splashes out a half a million. Well, Will the Thrill standing up. This is some serious right here. He's seen this acting job. Well, he just said no. that. He's got a feeling. I've seen more Hollywood in my day. <laughs> <laughs> this don't feel good, boys. This don't feel good. This is unbelievable. I know when it don't feel good. Those na those hairs are staring up on the back of my neck right now. I call. <laughs> oh, no. Well, he's I made call. the call. You can't lay this hand down. But he wanted to, it. Vince. Oh. I know it. Look at this. Ace queen. I got king queen. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, Will yeah, the yeah. Thrill didn't lose any more money on this spot good. than he did. I know when it don't feel good. Well, he's destroyed right there. But Jeff Burt, he's taking a big pot. Well, man, over 10 billion served right there by the man from McDonald's. He has made a big hand happen. Just incredible in my mind that Will suspected something all along. Here we go. <laughs> it moved him. Our chip leader with about 3 million looks down at a queen king. Pretty nice. Makes it 75,000 to go. Next to play is the real estate guy, also a local. Wow. Mr. Habib has picked up Ace King. And he's just going to call with it. Casually out. The curtain salesman flings in his hand. Now El Paya out as well. And now it's on Joe Sirock. Joe picks up Ace Queen. Whoa. It's been raised. It's been called. Now what do you do if you're Joe Sirock? Well, a lot of guys will make a squeeze play here, right here, but spell trouble for Joe and he just makes the call does not re-raise here with the ace queen probably a good thing for him that he didn't all right here comes the flop and flop is king three deuce just a great flop for Habib he's got top parent top kicker but the original razor has flopped two kings as well but checks everybody checks his flop I'm astounded I am too here's the turn card now five of diamonds comes off so Oh, Sirak and Habib have a straight throw now, but... Joe is going to check again, and now Moon Kim going to bet his kings. Of course. Got to think he's got the best hand now, the way this hand's been played. 150. Now, look at this. Habib did not raise with the ace king. He just calls. Joe Sirak with nothing is going to get out of the way. So the two locals, the two amateurs going at it here, both have a pair of kings. 
Habib has him out kicked. River card is a king. Oh, wow. The case king comes up on the river. Both players have three kings, but Moon is out kicked. This could spell big trouble for the Moon Man. Oh, the Moon Man has to think he's solid gold, and he's going to bet 200000 Of course. He is hoping to get called here. Now the real estate guy, Habib. Just can't put this guy on ace king. He didn't raise before the flop, didn't bet on the flop, didn't raise on the turn. No way you're going to put him on ace king. Now Habib's thinking, how much can I get out of him? Well, he's going to double the size of the bet, makes it 400,000 to go. All of a sudden, the guy waits to the river to raise it. Hold on, act, and you raise me? Wow, that's sick. Well, Moon's played a lot of poker with this down. guy. Knows he's solid, tight player. I don't think I can lay this down. No, it's almost impossible, <laughs> but I like his instincts. I'm not raising it for sure, huh? Okay. You a king? Of course I got a king. What do you expect? Well, you're not going to put him on ace king, but you don't think your three kings are good anymore against a solid, tight player like this. Oh, but still... Okay. Tough to lay it down the way the betting went on this hand. And it's just an additional 200,000. You know, you gotta make a crying call here, you would think. <laughs> what makes you think I'll just call this kid? Hey, the clock, please. Now, Joe Elpaya calls the clock on him. Well, that's kind of interesting. And Elpaya with a brash move there. It's 200. What is 200? Just get over with the hand. Let's fall then. Come on, let's go. Fold then. I got the table talk oh. here. Oh. Well, Habib says, I've got you beat. Just go ahead and fold. Save your money. In the meantime, he's only got one minute to act on his hand. Or his hand won't be automatically folded. For his sake, you better hope the clock runs out. I'm bluffing you. You are? Yeah. Now Habib says, I'm bluffing you. First he said, right, I got you beat. You. Now I'm bluffing you. And when he said that, Moon calls him. So Habib winning that pot. You said you're bluffing me, man. <laughs> I told you. I, 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 no, first I said I got you beat. You yeah. tell the truth at the poker table? Come on, Moon Camp, snap out of it. I should have laid up. Well, Tom's starting this hand with about 30 big blinds. And he's just going to limp the button here. Yeah, I don't mind this play, especially with a hand like this. It's a hand that, with his stack, he can't really do much if he gets three bet against. So he tries to take away that play by just calling. Back. He's in position, so he doesn't mind seeing a flop and uh, playing it out against the blinds. Chewy limped in in the small blind, and Schwartz said, go ahead with ace eight in the flop. Ace, 10, seven, flush draw for Chewy, who checks it over to Schwartz, and Schwartz with aces checks it back to Marchese, who's got the gut shot straight draw. Nobody wants to bet. And here comes the turn. Another ace, Schwartz with trips now. Yeah, I think if anybody would have likely bet this flop, it would have been Tom in position, having limped in with some equity. But he decided to take a free card against two other players. Well, now you see Chewy going to bet his flush draw, 150000 So when Chewy sees that Tom does not bet the flop, he thinks it's unlikely that either Tom or the random hand that Noah has in the big blind has an ace. Of course, we know that Noah does have an ace, and Noah not going anywhere with trips. He's made the call. Here comes the river after a fold from Tom. It's the queen of diamonds. Chewy makes the flush. Chewy continuing to make strong hands here. And it's going to be pretty unlucky for Noah. He can't really fold trip aces given the action. But Chewy, with a flush, going to take down this pot. Oh. Cool. Cool. Yeah, a bet of 360000 gets called by Noah. And you see a bit of disgust on his face there. Oh, sick, bro. Nice hand from Chewy. A little bit of luck on the river, but... Nice pot coming his way. Moving on to the next case in this courtroom of high stakes poker. DC would just be a drone. Oh. Who's big blind is it? I'm out of here. I would never raise your blind. Action folded around with the small blind of Byron Coverman. We've mentioned before that Coverman's passion is not actually poker, at least not his number one passion. That would be soccer. He is a former soccer player or footballer, as they would be calling it elsewhere in the world. He says one day he hopes to coach kids and coach soccer. He's raised it here to 4,000 with ace-four offsuit, and he's going to be heads up and out of position against Jason Mercier, who defended with three-four suited. Both players flop bottom pair. Byron was way the best of it. Ace-four offsuit, 
kind of a tough hand to play out of position in a raised pot. I would, probably would have preferred just limping if I were Byron. Byron. 43. Reaching for chips, and he says 4,300. You know, he started playing poker in high school after seeing the movie Rounders. Done pretty well for himself. He's got over 3 million in live tournament earnings. Jason Mercier calls the 4,300. The turn card puts a second club out there, giving Jason a flush draw to go with bottom pair. Byron was still the best hand, and he's checked it. So after getting called here, Byron doesn't think he can get that much more value from his hand. Now the action's on Jason with 17-6 in the middle. 87. Jason picks up a flush draw to go with his bottom pair, decides to bet it. I'm not a huge fan of this bet. I think there are enough bluffs in Jason's range, whether they're outright floats or straight or flush draws with no pairs, that I would be betting most, if not all, of those hands. I probably would have just checked my pair in flush draw and waited to see what the river brought. Instead, Mercier bet the 8700, and he's been called by Byron. Now, I think Byron could definitely have folded the turn if he wanted to, but calling definitely not a bad option. Oh, wow. look at this river card. A four giving both players trips. Byron has got the best hand and checks it over to Jason, who unquestionably is going to lose some more money here. Yeah, so now Jason pretty much feels like he hit Jin, but obviously so did Byron. So I think the real question is, what is Byron going to do after having checked and Jason bet? Now, Jason's bet of 27-2 is pretty big. And so I wouldn't be surprised if Byron just called here, but I would, if I were in his position, I would definitely consider raising. I mean, you really only lose to a full house, and there just aren't very many full houses that Jason has. Yeah, Coverman makes the call, playing it a little safe, and he'll be thrilled to take down that pot, which is the opposite emotion to the one that Jason Mercier is experiencing right there. Yeah, some clear frustration on Jason's part. Obviously, that is an incredibly unlucky river card.